Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you a cool way to color tint your videos. So I'm going to begin with just a standard video clip. And one method that we can use is by adding new black or color matte clips. So if I highlight my project media panel, I can go to File, New, Color Matte. This is always here for you. And in this menu, you can choose any color from the color picker, press OK. It'll generate that solid color matte layer for you to drag on top of your video clips on another layer. So if I drag that on top, I can extend it out and it's just a solid red colored layer. But what we can do is in the blending mode, we can set it to a blending mode such as multiply and we'll immediately get this color tint kind of like a, a tinted lens or a filter. Now, this is just one first step. You also have the ability to adjust the opacity. That'll kind of be like the strength of the filter or the tint. And if you want to change the color, you can double click on the color mat in the project media panel and you can change it to whatever you want. Now you'll notice if I do a, a more gentle color, such as a blue filter, you still see some of the original skin tone and color tones from the underlying uh, layer. Another trick you can try for a different variation is highlighting the original layer and just going to the Lumetri color panel and in the basic correction section you can lower the saturation of the original video clip so essentially we're making the original clip black and white and that'll allow the color tint to fully fill in the color so it's kind of monochrome now if you wanted that this can be a great look for uh, keeping things subtle so that you can then add like intro text over top or different graphics and displays. Another thing that you can do is also animate the color mat. So let's say I go to the effects panel and I add something like a linear wipe transition. I can add this on the color mat and now I can only kind of add a tint on certain portions. Uh, let's say I wanted this side to display some text or statistics. This is a great way to kind of add a little bit of a tinted section for you to work with. And this is simply just one idea or example, but there's so many different ways that you can animate or fill in sections that, instead of just the static color mat, if you added keyframes or whatever else you wanted. Now, another idea, if you want more than just a solid color mat, is using a ramp. So in Premiere Pro, in the Video Effects folder, under Generate, you have two different kind of gradients that we can make. We have a four color gradient, which looks like this. I can just replace the color mat with it, which allows you four different colors at once, kind of like a multi-tint. Or you have the ramp effect. This is just a simple two color gradient, and I can change each color. So if I wanted a cool, like, red and green sort of tint, I can do that, or a blue and, and yellow or blue and green. This is a, a kind of like a double tint or duo tone tint, and all the same different things apply with the opacity and, and whatnot. I'm using multiply as the blend mode because that's the, the one that will fill in all the highlights and still keep the original contrast kind of the same. But you can also use the same method to play around with other blending modes if you want, like if you want to add a brightening effect with screen or lighten, you can get different looks. And I can still go back to the original clip in the Lumetri color section and maybe desaturate it if I want. But you see with darken, um, darken is another good one for a different type of tint instead of lighten. This, this will depend on the colors that you use. So you know, something like red is a very strong color and it will look better on multiply, in my opinion, than darken. And you can even use two shades of the same color for even a little bit more variation, like maybe a red and an orangish red. So keep in mind all of these different options you have. You always have your color mats available. And it's cool because these apply tints over everything underneath the layers underneath. So I can extend this clip out and have multiple different clips, a whole sequence even, and add that same red tint over an entire section of a sequence. 
So if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.